have a particular weak acid, okay, for example, if I have CH3, COOH, and then I am reacting with water, since it's actually a weak acid, therefore, okay, the reaction is going to be reversible, and you are going to get CH3, COO minus, plus H3O plus. Now, when you look over here, this is going to be a full equation because normally we just write it down as CH3, COOH to give you CH3, COO minus plus H plus. Okay, normally we write it this way. Okay, but you need to understand the actual situation that is happening over here is the weak acid is reacting with water and then the water is receiving the H plus. Okay, so to form this ion, this ion's name is called hydroxonium ion. Why I'm writing this down? Because I want to teach you guys about uh, the terms okay, that is being used over here. Now, when it comes to, uh, let's say, uh, when you are donating H+, okay, for example, you can see that in this case, CH3COOH, okay, the ethanoic acid, is losing the H+, okay, it's losing the hy hydrogen ions, and the H2O is receiving the hydrogen ions, okay, you can see from the product. So whenever there is going to be uh, something, a substance, losing hydrogen ions, okay, this is going to be called as acid. Okay, this is going to be acid. Whenever you have a, a substance receiving the H+, the hydrogen ions or the proton, okay, so proton acceptor, H+, is proton, yeah. So uh, when it is receiving the proton, okay, we call that substance as base. So water is a base here. And now, okay, Something that has actually been acid, okay, now they are going to actually give you this ethanoic ion. This is going to be automatically called as base. What kind of base? Why suddenly base? It must be a special reason, okay? This is going to be known as conjugate base. Why it is called conjugate base is it is because, okay, when I write down this equation, if I invert this equation, I will actually get something like this, okay, CH3, COO minus plus H3O plus, they will give me this. Okay, I just inverted the equation, okay, because it's a reversible reaction. So what actually happens here is, this now will give, okay, will lose the proton or the hydrogen ion. They will receive the hydrogen ion, so they will become base. This will become acid. So you see, when uh, they can change their position, the roles, okay? So that's why, okay, this is going to be called acid. When it comes over here, they will become base, okay? So it's called conjugate base. Okay, and then, okay, if this is base, this is going to be conjugate acid. Okay, this one, these are the terms that you need to understand. So for now, I will actually erase this part. So let's actually try some other things. Like for example, if let's say I'm having um, ammonia, okay, if I am having ammonia, so let's say I'm going to write NH3. Ammonia is reacting with HCl. And just for the sake of uh, showing it here, I will write it down as NH4 plus and then Cl minus. Okay. It's supposed to form ammonium chloride. Okay, ammonium chloride. But if you look over here, okay, what happens here is uh, let's actually ask you guys, Lawi, which one, okay, here, okay, 
is going to be the base, ammonia or ACL? Ammonia. Yeah. Why? Because they are going to receive the H plus from ACL. Okay. So ACL will lose the H plus. Okay. So this is going to be the acid. This is going to be the base. And ammonium ion, Charlton, is going to be what? The conjugate acid. Yes, good. It's called conjugate acid. And this is going to be conjugate base. So please take note, okay? Uh, not all the time, okay, uh, water is going to behave as a uh, base. Okay, water can behave as acid also, okay? But that one actually depends on the, the way we define them, okay? It's not that, hey, how come water become acid? How come water become base? pH 7, how come? No, this is going to be following the definition. If you can actually lose H+, plus, then you are considered to be acid. In that particular reaction, if you receive the H+, plus, you are going to be called as base. So this one is just the term. Okay, Do not actually use the way that we just look at pH and then we tell this is going to be acid. No, that is not the way to actually identify acid or base. Yeah. So this one is following theory, yeah, according to the theory. Now, coming back to buffer solution. Okay, so in buffer solution, what is uh, important is you must have, okay, you must either have uh, a weak acid, okay, you must have a weak acid, plus you must also, okay, the weak acid alone is not important, yeah, the weak acid alone cannot be uh, behave as buffer, okay? So the weak acid must also have, okay, the, the salt, okay, of the acid, okay? Or if you put it in another term, they must also have the conjugate base, okay? They must also have the conjugate base. For example, if I'm using this uh, first example, okay, this is going to be a weak acid, can I just use CH3, COOH? The answer, okay, for this here, uh, as a buffer, the answer is definitely no, okay? When weak acid alone, they cannot be a buffer, even though, okay, even though when they react with water and they give you the CH3, COO minus plus H3O plus, oh, sir, Mr. Gopi, this is also the salt of the acid or the conjugate uh, conjugate base. Why they cannot actually behave as a buffer? No, not enough. Why not enough? The Ka is too low. Okay, If the Ka is too low, the concentration of CH3, COO minus is too low. They cannot behave as a buffer. Okay, So what you need to do, you need to actually put the CH3, COO in a form of external concentration. It means you need to put something else. So what do you put? You can put CH3, COO, like this, a salt. Okay, this is going to be the salt that we meant over here. So this is going to be the acid. This is the salt. You need to add extra. Okay, this is going to be the extra. And we need to know that the salt, they will completely dissociate. Okay, they will give you CH3, COO minus plus Na plus. Now, what can we say? This, the concentration of this is too little, okay, from the acid alone. But now, from the salt, I am going to have high concentration of this. This is going to be helping me in my buffer solution. So that's the reason why you need okay, the salt of the acid. So in this case, if you are talking about buffer solution or acidic buffer, you must make sure that you have CH3, COOH. You must also make sure that you have CH3, COO, 
minus Na plus. Okay, you must have the salt. So the combination of these two will form the buffer solution. Okay, the combination. Okay, so if I actually use the same thing, like for example, uh, if I have ammonia alone, okay, you see this one is a weak base. Another one is weak base and salt of the base or conjugate acid. Just now was conjugate base. So if let's say now, if I want to uh, form a, a basic buffer, okay, this is going to be uh, acidic buffer. This is acidic buffer. And this is going to be, let's say I'm going to look for basic buffer solution. So if I have basic buffer, okay, I know if I'm using, let's say ammonia, okay, ammonia, when they uh, react, okay, with uh, water, okay, they will actually give you NH4 plus and then OH minus, okay, you have this kind of situation. So you do have NH4 plus, okay, but is it enough by having ammonia alone and then say that ammonia is buffer? The answer is no, okay? You need to have, okay, now you have the weak base, ammonia. Even though ammonia gives you ammonium, okay, which is going to be the conjugate acid, but the concentration of ammonium ion is too low because why the k uh the this one is going to be the dissociation constant yeah we call it kb okay because previously we learned ka acid dissociation constant okay this one is going to be too low okay so the amount of nh4 plus that we get is too low over here so what we need to do you need to include ammonium ions how do you include the ammonium ions maybe in form of salt so I will add NH4Cl. What the NH4Cl will do? The NH4Cl will give me NH4 plus and Cl minus. Do remember complete dissociation. If you have complete dissociation, what happens here? Okay, I am going to have a lot of ammonium ion. Okay. So now they will compensate the less ammonium ions that you have in ammonia, okay? So now the combination of this buffer solution is NH3 and the ammonium ions, okay, the ammonium ions that is coming from, mostly from ammonium chloride. That's why it's called salt of the base, okay? Now, up to here,